Hello, everybody. It's time for our fantasy preview of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Where are we going, Adam Rank? Do <laughs> start there with their big free agent acquisition, Julius Thomas, a, a safety blanket of sorts for Blank, Blake Bortles. Uh, give me a fantasy preview for Julius Thomas. Fans. It's not going to be favorable. I can tell you that right now. I mean, this is a guy who was so touchdown dependent in Denver. 60% of his fantasy points last year came scoring touchdowns with Peyton Manning and an explosive offense. Now he goes to Jacksonville with Blake Bortles. Major downgrade. They're not going to get into the red zone nearly as often as Denver did. And in a season where you don't have a lot of good tight ends, I still don't have them in my top five. Uh, Marcus, can Julius Thomas make up for the touchdowns in just sheer volume? Uh, I'm not sure that he can. I mean, they do want to spread the ball around. They do have some young wide receivers in that offense they want to get the football to. They drafted a guy like TJ Yeldon. They still have some guys in the backfield they want to spread the ball to. So I don't know that the number of targets are going to be there for Julius Thomas to have that kind of volume. Adam Rank, uh, speaking yes, of TJ Yeldon, is he going to be a big cat Jaguar? Or oh, nice. will he be a little kitty cat? No, big cat, big cat. He's going to have a monster year for this team. I really like his situation. He's going in to an up-and-coming offense that retooled the offensive line a little bit. I do like the acquisition of Julius Thomas, which makes this team a little bit more dynamic. And you're looking at a running back who is going to get the opportunity to have a lot of carries. He is going to be the lead cat if you will. Oh. And so, I, again, and if you're drafting wide receivers early, I like to take chances on rookies. I like this situation. I like the pedigree. I like guys coming out of the SEC. I like, I like everything about this. Um, TJ Yeldon, uh, where do you take a guy like him? I, I'm seeing wide variance in mock drafts. Yeah, I say fifth or sixth round uh, as a flex starter, though. I don't want him as an RB2. I don't want to lean on him in a very prominent role. If he's good, hey, then that's great. The one thing that I worry about is that Greg Olson's offenses have not produced a lot of really good fantasy running backs. So that has me worried, but I'd still take him in the fifth or sixth. All right, Marcus, so you talked to me about Allen Robinson, a guy that fantasy masses really are kind of ignoring and staying away from. Hey, no, wait Expert, a minute. No, now, hold Come on, on now. now. Now, experts, though, love this guy, Allen Robinson. Why is that? Well, because he's a big-body guy who knows how to go up and get the football. Look, if you want to be that fantasy hipster in your league, <laughs> if you want to be that guy, that other girl like, late in your draft, you put that sticker on the board, and everybody's like, who the heck is Allen Robinson? And you will be laughing all the way to the fantasy bank because if of anybody in this Jaguars offense, I think he's the one who's going to be the lead pass catcher when it's all said and done. No question about it. And Olsen can do some things with wide receivers. Back in his time in St. Louis, Torrey Holt, Isaac Bruce, really good numbers uh, in Oakland. Well, I mean, nobody yeah, puts good numbers right. in Oakland. So I like Robinson as a sleeper. All right, so there you go. That's going to do it for our Jacksonville Jaguars fantasy preview. Be sure to sign up today right now for free, NFL.com slash fantasy. We'll see you.